Deep dive into mail delivery delays. A new audit report released tonight highlights why you may have not been getting your mail on time. Chantel Davis spent hours poring over that report. She joins us now in studio and Chantel, what are the major takeaways here? In 30 page report breaks down five challenges the Postal Service is having and these challenges are directly impacting when and if you get your mail along with the recommendations to fix this problem moving forward. It's a problem many say they face for years. It's been going on for a long time. Like there are sometimes days when the mail doesn't come at all. The outrage from many residents sparked an internal investigation at the new Richmond Processing and Distribution Center. The facility was implemented as part of the 10-year Strategic Delivering for American Plan initiated by the United States Postal Office. Um, I've had to call the office a couple times to try to figure out what was going on. You know, is the mail coming? The Office of the Inspector General completed the self-audit and found several major challenges impacting the 10-year strategic delivering for American plan and causing a delay to your mail. One of those challenges, the ability to retain leadership. According to the report, the center's turnover rate was higher than the national average. And within the first four months of its opening, there were three different plant managers. Auditors also noted inadequate supervision, saying they witnessed a mail handler sleeping on a parked forklift and mail clutter and congestion in many areas of the workroom floor. Water damaged mail dated for July and was found four months later in a truck yard. And there was mail in boxes labeled empty equipment. The author of the report had multiple recommendations for this finding. They include better training and management on how to engage and lead team members and provide adequate supervision of operations and training at future sites. Auditors also found in a different finding, the Postal Service did not adequately plan and establish new transportation routes to support operations. They did not account for all local needs, like mailer and commercial package pickups. For a while, I was selling some stuff on eBay and uh, through Mercari, and I couldn't depend on them to come and pick it up because I would put it in the box, but then they wouldn't come to get it. This report comes a little over a week after lawmakers visited the Sandston Center, many of them now weighing in. Congresswoman Jennifer McClellan releasing a statement saying, in part, quote, the ongoing mail delivery issues in Richmond and throughout Virginia's 4th Congressional District are unacceptable and must be resolved expeditiously. Management from the facility did respond to all the findings, saying, in part, quote, Lessons learned from Richmond enable us to continually improve this process. The target implementation is July 31st, 2024. Now, other Virginia lawmakers, including Senators Tim Kaine and Mark Warner, also sent a joint statement saying in part, quote, USPS must provide more resources and clearance guidance to management and staff at RPDC, among other steps. We are expecting to hear from more lawmakers in the morning. Meanwhile, you can read the full report at 12onyourside.com. In Richmond, Chantel Davis, 12 on your side.